Kia, what is going on YouTube? We are back at it with another Forza Horizon 3 build video, man. I gotta say, after uh, a long stretch of Forza Horizon 3 videos, I was kind of getting a little stale off it, but I don't know why, man. I've been playing some Gran Turismo. Uh, I think it was like Gran Turismo 2, man, and now that I'm back playing the Forza Horizon 3, I'm, a, I'm all back into it, man. I'm stoked to be here. Hope you guys are too, man. Glad you guys are all tuned in. Today's request comes from a few people on YouTube. Brandon the Gamer, Myra Williams, Brandon Williams, Rohit Gahal, Support Your Local Vandal, and Evan X Top Drift all want to see a Ricer Evo build, man. Now, we started out in this very clean a rally build to show you guys an example. Oh, by the way, we had a very successful day. Uh, where were we here? Very successful day at the auction house. Um, we had a an abundance of cars sell, man. Uh, so big shout outs to all you guys who bought these cars, man. If you guys see your names down here, Ramming Racer, Rick's Burritos, the v Vanilla Wafer, <laughs> Green Bean Shark, Unwound Branch, Siphonic Koala, GTR02 Gaming. No, I bought two of them. Shout outs to that guy right there. Aimless Mender 43, Sir Eagle G, Raymer Dim. And I already accepted a couple of these cars back and collected the money, so I don't have the rest of your guys' names. But shout out to you guys uh, who bought cars off of the auction house, man. Super successful. Uh, but what we're going to do today is jump up inside the buy car section and see if we can find a Mitsubishi Lancer that we haven't bought yet in the game. Now, I'm not sure if I have bought every single Mitsubishi. There is certainly no question that we have done a lot on the channel. Now, obviously, the 08 Lancer, uh, which we just started out in the 06. We have an 04 here, the 99 and we have the Mitsubishi Galant. So it looks like we have to choose from any of these right here. Now I have to say probably the most popular. Um, I'd say it's a toss up between the 06 or the 08 Lancers. Um, so what I think we're probably going to do for this one. I'm going to go with the 04. I really like the front end on this one. Actually looks like an upgrade from the 06. It looks like this should be the 06. This should be the 04. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and buy up the 04. Now, if you guys are Lancer fanboys and have not seen one of my Ricer build videos, man, just uh, get the Vaseline, you know, prepare for butt hurt because it is about to go down. Now, I know a couple people in real life that actually have Mitsubishi Evos, uh, but the thing about it is that I don't actually know anybody in real life that has a Mitsubishi Evo that actually runs, right? Um, the, you know, ha buying a Mitsubishi Evo in a video game is probably the most perfect scenario because in real life, there's it's just problem after problem after problem with these cars. Uh, I mean, if you're going to put a turbo and make a car as powerful as this, you better make sure that the powertrain and the engine that you're putting these things on can support it. Now, being a racer, we'd really long for, I don't know, a V8 powertrain. Maybe not in this one. Probably go, I don't know, more towards an old Eagle Talon build uh, or swap. But for this one, man, we're going to have to leave our stock beat up powertrain. And obviously the drivetrain swap. Now, if we were true racers, if we were true racers, this would be a front wheel drive. It wouldn't even be an Evo. It would be that base model Lancer, uh, just straight bucket, gutless piece. Um, but, you know, the, the Evo was our only option in this game. So we're just going to continue on. Um, now, it looks like we have a couple options for body kits, which is fantastic. Um, most definitely looks like a few ricer options here now that's for uh you know pushing out all the uh subaru fans out of the way when you're pulling up to the car meet uh this one actually looks pretty aggressive but i think this is probably going to be the ricer uh bumper that we choose 
just a whole lot of canard action going on there. You know, if you flip them upside down, it looks like the thing might actually take flight, which is kind of cool too. Um, this might be the ricerist rear end that I've ever seen there. Um, very ridiculous. Like, I don't know. Uh, uh, we're just going to pretend that we didn't see that because that's not right. That's not even rice. That's just like absolutely pathetic. Um, but we're going to go with this big old Sea West rice wing. It looks like Sea West has your ticket if you are into rice or stuff. Uh, we're going to see if we can keep this trend going throughout the back here. I kind of like that, man. Varus, eh? That's actually a legit rear diffuser, man. Um, but since we're doing rice and we're not doing it legit, I guess Sea West all the way. Um, let's see if they have a ricer side body kit here. Actually a little less ricey than I had uh, anticipated. Uh, Sea West it is, I guess. Oh, we forgot to check the hood. Oh, and we're not in the hood. We are definitely not in the hood, man. We are out here on YouTube. Now this... This is interesting here. You can drive your Subaru underneath the water here with this snorkel. That is extremely interesting. Go scuba diving and just be inside your car, man. That, that's definitely an exclusive to Mitsubishi, I think, here. Now, as far as the ricerness goes, I think we're going to go with this big old fence grill here. And it looks like this C West... Uh, these C West components, they just took like some chain link fence and cut it all up and stuck it inside these big holes, man. That's what I really like about it. Um, now, here's a fun fact that some of you guys may or may not know that um, about 90% of STIs that you'll see on the racetrack or drag strip, um, they don't use race fuel, man. Those cars actually run off of the tiers of Mitsubishi Evo owners. Um, so that's pretty cool, man. That's why it smells so bitter in the air every time you smell the STI, uh, you know, the fumes and stuff. It's because that's tears, man. That's tears from little cry, Mitsubishi Cry guys wishing that their cars were actually running instead of sitting in the garage in 100 pieces. Now, for the tire compound, typically we'd have burnt out, nasty, ugly ass rubber on here. Um, so we're not going to upgrade any of this stuff. Actually, the tire letters would be a nice touch. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw some tire letters on here, man. Uh, we'll leave them nice and thin, though, as thin as possible. It looks like they're relatively beefy tires for, I guess it's an all-wheel drive. It needs quite a bit of grip. Um, now, I'm just going to skim through here and find the riciest, most 90 set of wheels that I could find. And already, we have a very healthy candidate right off of the bat. But I'm just going to try to be a little more creative, let you guys know what I come up with. Now, you can never go wrong with some dubs. These ones are actually called the big chips. So I think because they're called big chips, we're going to go ahead and throw some 20s on here. Now, 20-inch rims on a Mitsubishi. I don't know if, um, well, which, which one was a Fast and the Furious with Tyrese where they had the, the, uh, the Lancer and the, what was it that, I believe it was an Eclipse Spider with the drop top. And, uh, yeah, whatever one Paul Walker was driving. Well, I believe there's probably 20-inch rims on there, man, because Fast and the Furious was very, you know, kind of out there when it came to that kind of stuff. Very ricey, actually. This build's actually quite fitting for that. Um, now, the clutch we did upgrade, as you guys would see, but now that I'm thinking it about it, this isn't a legit build, so our clutch would probably be slipping absolutely zero power whatsoever. Um, now, I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this one, though throw on the differential here and you guys are going to see why once we get into everything now this thing no brakes are needed when you're a ricer you concentrate on going fast worry about stopping later um, we are going to put the rally suspension on here just for maximum ride height and softness um, everything else you know what ricers are kind of cheap we're going to do a little bit of sport rate weight reduction here uh, we're going to take out the spare radio all that stuff replace it with um, you know, your girlfriend's nasty clothes and shoes and stuff like that. I don't know. What do ricers have in their trunks? Tools? Jacks? Jacks to jack their car up? Extra extra dub rim in case they, they bend one? I don't know. Maybe Actually, you know what? Taking out the stereo is probably not the greatest idea because typically if you're a ricer, you probably have a giant-ass sub box in there weighing down the ass end. 
Um, we're going to just do an intake and exhaust on this, even though that's probably a little too much, but let's be honest, man. Ricers like to make their cars loud and not perform. So we took $24,000 to transform this bucket into rice. Uh, so next up, what we're going to do is a ricer tune on here. Now, obviously, we can't do anything with the gearing. Uh, tire pressure, we're going to lower the tire pressure. Now, typically, it'd just be like, you know, maybe one tire on the back, a couple tires here and there. We're going to lower the tire pressure at the back just because, you know, we're racers. We don't really care about that stuff. Uh, the camber as well, except we're only going to do it on the front uh, because, you know, we hit a couple potholes, so things are a little out of alignment. Everything here is soft, which I like about it. Um, uh, that That probably didn't sound very proper to certain people um, we're also going to lower the rear end though because like i said about the sub box it's probably got a lot of weight in the back things just getting crazy and then with the differential we are in fact going to make this a front wheel drive which i'm very stoked about i'd like to see how this thing performs um, what else designs and paints man we got to make this thing look as ricer as it performs look at this thing man we're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Um, now I'm thinking we stick with the red paint job. We're going to maybe fade it out just a little bit. Kind of make it look a little bit old and rubbish. That's looking good there. Uh, let's see. We're gonna, yeah, there we go. Um, now, we're going to do the same for the hood, except it's going to be faded in like a gray. Um, the wheels are definitely going to stay chrome. Uh, the tint, we're going to do like a faded purple, like DIY tint on here. That's looking nice. And I think the wing, should we do the wing like a different color? Maybe like it was off of a different car or something like that. How about we do the wing like blue or something like that? Does that look right? Nah. What about green? Green, nah, yellow. Yeah, I'll do the yellow wing. That's looking kind of ricey, but it's almost looking like a little McDonald Ronald McDonald thing going on here, so I think we might have to jump into the apply decal section and get a little something going on on the side. Um, now, for those of you guys who are familiar with the riceness, uh, you know, common themes, tears, lightning, uh, racing stripes and stuff like that. So we're going to try to find a few things here that are like, you know, the tribals. Tribals are really cool too. Um, let's see here. Flames. Ooh, the flames. Let's do a nice little flame on here. That looks more tribal than flame. Here's the fire right here. More fire. Uh, let's see here. This is turning out to be pretty ugly, man. Okay, so that we're, we're on the right track then. Uh, let's go ahead and do this blue. Obviously, this needs to be spun around. I'm just going to set this, get back to you guys when I figure it all out. It's got a little dual flame action happening on here. We're going to go ahead, um, insert all from the left to the right of the car. And the front bumper, I think what we're probably going to do here, just, just to make things look right, man. It truly wouldn't be a ricer vehicle without this. We're just going to get a little something going on here and position it. To the point where it looks like a crack in the bumper, man. Because, like, let's be honest. Most ricers crashing into things. Um, so we're just going to add that right there. And I think we are ready to hit the drag strip, man. Let's save this to the car. Now let's get this thing out on the road, man. I'm interested to see how this suspension performs with all the, all the beautiful upgrades that we did to it, man. Ready to roll down the strip and pick up some chicks, man. So right off of the bat, sounds like poo. Got that front wheel drive. Front wheel drive burnouts, which is really what I was hoping for. And we are off, man, slow as a dog. 
I think this thing's rated at about just under 300 horsepower, but if I had to guess, I'd say it's more like 300 like cockroach power or something like that. This is pretty, this is pretty bad, man. Actually, that's giving a little too much credit to the old Mitsubishi here, man. Cockroach is pretty powerful. Oh, ant, not not really an ant. I don't know, man. Baby power? Babies suck, man. Babies don't know how to do anything. Definitely baby power. Baby power. Powder. 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 Is it baby powder or power? Oh, my God. Tongue twister. Okay, we're off the topic, man. That was my, my apologies. Um, surprisingly, not that bad, but hitting that e-brake on him, doing some tray slides. Oh, the old Grandpa Gallant there. This suspension is sloppy as ever. Let's get an interior view. Look at that purple tint, man. Very classy. It's the old Canadian Tire Special right there, ladies and gentlemen. And we just got into an accident. But we're racers, so we're going to do a hit and run, and we're going to hit and run again. Loving that yellow wing here. Actually, the turbo... Sounded like we got a bit of a turbo leak, to be 100% honest. We're just going to keep doing racer things. Obviously, speeding in the residential is one of them, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Making sure that all of our neighbors hear how cool our new exhaust is, the Ractive exhaust. Whoa, that guy almost caused a serious accident, bro. Not as serious as that one would have been. What is this? Gold Infinity. Looking dope, bro. Looking dope. So Tunnel Blast, nothing serious. Just another Ricer vehicle. Thinks he's cool. We're just hitting everybody, man. No, no, no cares in the world today. This thing isn't even fun, man. This, like, uh, tell me we got enough for a half-decent video here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God, it's getting so long. Okay, we got to put an end to this one, man. This is, for one, this car sucks, and it's not fun. And for two, this one is going on 20, 21 minutes unedited, man. That's that's unheard of. Unheard of. Um, so, as always, if you guys enjoyed this one, don't forget to smash that like button if you guys want to see more and you are not subscribed yet. Um, you should probably go ahead and do that, man. You, you know, you don't want to miss when we do some nice gems like this, right? I mean, this is the real deal here. The rice deal. The deal on rice is here. So, stay locked. Stay tuned. And, as always, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. We gonna catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh.